It's common knowledge that going to heaven is amazing. But what if you still had unfinished business on earth? Like telling your wife you love her for the first time. Hi, and welcome to my video essay on Ghost, the Oscar winning classic from 1990 by director Joel Schumacher. Now, this movie Ghost is one of the greatest love stories of all time, and it all started with this famous scene where Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore do pottery. Well, actually, it's just Demi Moore doing pottery. That is, until a shirtless Swayze swoops in and shifts the focus to sex. Okay, let's dissect this early scene. As you can see, Swayze wastes no time feeling her up. Now, Demi is focused intently on doing actual work. She shakes him off. Now, his unwanted fondling results in the destruction of her delicate piece of art. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a masterpiece. But they love each other very much. I love you. Which he expresses using the term... Ditto. Ditto. Moving on. I'm going to the theater. She wants to see Macbeth. I think she likes the guys in tights, personally. The next night, they go to a Shakespeare festival, and it should be a fun night. Well, I loved it. What do you want? Shit. Wow. Give it. But instead, he gets murdered by a street thug. And he's forced to make a tough decision. Go to heaven, or stay on Earth, become a ghost, and help Molly. Well, I guess I can't go to heaven anymore because it just closed. It's like I can still feel you. Now, first, Swayze is a terrible ghost. He can't figure out how to communicate with Molly. But that all changes when this cat hisses. It gives him a great idea. He's going to go run and find a ghost teacher who can make him a better ghost. And here he is. He's a little rude at first, but he definitely helps Patrick figure out how to do ghost things. Like push a bottle cap. It's all up here now. You want to move something, you got to move it with your mind. It's not as easy as it looks. That's why he's going to need help from someone better than that underground creep. And who better to help a scared little ghost talk to his wife from the afterlife? That's right. Whoopi Goldberg. Yes! You can hear me? Once he confirms she can hear him, he demands she drop everything to help him immediately. No, I'm not leaving until you help me. And he needs a lot of help. Like with his talking. I know about the green underwear that you wrote your name on. He just asked me to remind you of the sweater that's in the closet that you knitted. It's too big. But nothing seems to be getting through to her. She don't believe this lady. What are you doing? Tell her I love her. He says he loves you. Sam would never say that. She's right. Ditto. Tell her ditto. That was ditto. Ditto. But there is one thing that will truly convince her that it's him. His inability to say I love you. Beautiful. But not only does he want to simply talk to her. I'd give anything if I could just touch you once more. He wants to touch her once more. Okay, okay, look. You can use me. Yeah, here's the last thing I'll take a look at. One of the greats of all use time. You. And use my body. Use your body. Just do it quick before I change my mind. He finally understands. He's going to do something unimaginable. He's going to go inside Whoopi. Okay, now it's uh, Patrick Swayze in there. Here we go. And he reaches out her hands and touches his lost love for the first time since the murder. Now, it would be too weird if it was Whoopi the whole time, so they actually do bring back Swayze here to do the rest of the kitchen and touching. But just remember, it's actually Whoopi. Whoopi reaches out to Demi, caresses her white face. She stands. Whoopi stands. And they dance. And Whoopi lays her head on Demi's shoulder. Whoopi kisses her neck. And Whoopi thinks about all the stuff he's had to go through in the movie. Push a shoe. Punch a flower basket. And the rest. Sam? And then something truly magical happens, because it's the end of the movie. Molly? She can hear him. I can hear you. Straight up. Without having to go through Whoopi. I love you, Molly. And there you have it. He loves her. I've always loved you. He's always loved her. He just had to go inside Whoopi to figure out a way to say it. Ditto. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.